today. Amen. 2022. Uh, feliz día de conmemoración, conmemoración de los caídos. Amen. Pastor Sorry Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang, a church you can call home. Amen. If you don't have a church, come join us. Yes. Amen. Uh, praise God. A place where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. Also, we want to welcome our NBC, our family, visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We greet you, and we ask you that you uh, prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. Yeah. Today, we're going to be talking and celebrating uh, Happy Memorial Day. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, praise God. So, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Amen? Yeah. So get yourself ready. Don't leave as you can. Yeah. Leave change. Leave a changed person. Every time you meet with him and have a relationship with him, you should be a different person. Getting better and better. Amen? As you climb the, the ladder, you're up, you, you're moving up. You're moving on up. Amen? <laughs> to better things with him. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have uh, we have a uh, great slides for you. But before we do that, child of God, soldier of God, grab yes. your Bible, say amen. Let's say amen. let's make this declaration together. Amen. Yes. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I know that I am in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I have a few nuggets for you. I want to read them to you, and then we're going we're gonna to pray. We've been talking about making ourselves available to Him. Amen. Amen. And sometimes He's knocking and we're not available. <laughs> Sometimes he rings our phone and we're not answering. Uh -huh. So we need to be available. Amen. We have a, a rack over here with a bunch of good things. Amen. And one of them is Beatitudes. We have Beatitudes. Last week we talked to a few of them about being available, being committed, being a giver, mm -hmm. um, being a champion, being a winner for God. Amen. Yes. All these things. Remind yourself, you can read these on a yeah. daily basis. Right, right. Because you know what? The world and the busyness of this world is going to take all this away from you. Oh, yeah. Amen. I mean, there's going to be stress and, you know, be all kinds of things, you know, try to occupy your mind. The battlefield is the mind and the negative will come. The bad will come. But you have to be able to renew your mind with the word of God and confess the right things. Yeah. Amen. And if you don't have it in front of you, <laughs> it's just going to go away. Amen. The enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy. And he just wants to bombard you with all kinds of things so that you not be not able to think and do it and say it right. Amen. Be kind, be joyful, be enthusiastic, be excited. Bible, we're going to use this scripture in a few minutes, but this is the day the Lord has made. Yes. I, and you can put your name, Jose, will. Be glad. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Regardless of what situations are out there. I'm going to serve him first. When I serve him first, I'm ready for whatever's enemy and the world has for me. Amen. Woo. I'm, I'm prepared. I'm going to be victorious. <laughs> Amen. I'm going to be victorious. Yeah. I'm going to be an overcomer. All but right. this is what the word of God says. Yes. If you're not doing these things, uh -huh. he's going to have you. <clears throat> the world's going to have you. You're no match yeah. to a full-time devil. Yeah. And you're just doing part-time stuff. Part-time Christians no match to a full-time devil or a full-time world. Amen. So here's a few slides for us. Memorial. This Memorial Day, remember and honor all who have served and sacrificed for our freedom. And we're going to be getting a little more involved in those things. Amen. Keep going. Wishing uh, you a peaceful and blessed Memorial Day. And we have scripture to it. This is how we know what love is jesus christ laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and our sisters and that's at first john three sixteen. amen so praise god we are also going to open in prayer here in a few minutes keep going let me see there we go dia de conmemoraciones de los caídos amen so we want to 
honor them and salute them. Amen. So praise God. So Memorial Day, Happy Memorial Day 2022. 20, uh, Psalms 118.24. This is the day, every day is a day of the Lord that the Lord has made. Yeah. Celebrate, rejoice, and be glad. Every day is a day the Lord has made. How are you receiving it? Amen. Thank God. Your first miracle of the day is you open your eyes. Mm -hmm. He gave you a wake up call and you Amen. was up and you got up. Amen. If you're up, say, Lord, what is it you want me to do? Lord, I'm available. Yeah. Lord, I'm committed to you. I can do all things all with you. Things. Amen. These things we have to say. Amen. It's just one another day. Problems start <laughs> immediately magnifying all the problems, all the troubles. And all the things that are confronting you. And magnifying the wrong things instead of magnifying God first. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Praise God. That's the first thing we need to do. Memorial Day is tomorrow, Monday, May 30th, uh, 2022. Great day to fly your flag in honor and respect. Today we salute our service men and women in the U.S. Amen. Armed Forces. Those who have served and those who are currently serving. We remember and honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for this country yeah. and for freedom. We don't know them all, but we owe them all. Uh -huh. We don't know all of them. But guess what? They gave this sac they sacrificed themselves for our freedom. So yes, <laughs> don't say it don't affect me. I I never served. I I never had any family serve. But guess what? Freedom affects you. Yes, it and is. it was because of their, free, their, their sacrifice right. that you have live in a free country right. and doing what you got to do, <clears throat> what you're doing. Amen. So yeah. it does affect you. So let's yes, not take this for granted. Amen. Praise yeah. God. <laughs> Thank you. We also remember and pray for the families they left behind. Mm -hmm. I want to read this for you from me. <laughs> Proud to say I've come from a big patriotic family. Eight mm -hmm. brothers. Five sisters. But eight brothers, five served. I served U.S. Navy and retired. I'm proud to wear my uniform on Memorial Day, <laughs> Veterans Day, anytime I, I, I can. It is a privilege to share with church family and military personnel veterans mm -hmm. uh, on this, on what this means for them and for the families left yes. behind. Proudly wearing this uniform. Amen. I proudly wear, um, how do I say this? I proudly represent my Jesus. Amen. I proudly Amen. represent the U.S. military. Also remembering a sacrifice of heaven's greatest soldier. We're going to be talking about Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. The things he did. The things he gave to come. Amen. Yeah. He left the perfect heaven to come to this world. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk a little more about that. He bravely won a great victory. Gave his life for a nation. Not only for a nation but for all <laughs> humanity. So we can have eternal life. Right. He made it possible for us to come and receive him as Lord and Savior. Amen. And the thing about it is, you're going to have to one day either receive him or reject him. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to do that yourself. Amen. Amen. And uh, I would recommend that you receive. <laughs> Amen. As believers, we must not forget what Jesus has done for us. He paid a price he didn't owe. Mm. And we owe a debt we cannot pay. Beautiful song. Jesus died, buried, and, read, and risen in heaven, seated at the right hand of God, interceding for us. He didn't forget about us. No, he didn't. Amen. He's seated in heaven at the right hand of God, a place of authority, interceding for us. He's praying for us. Amen. Amen. And we forget about it and pay no attention to him huh. and just disregard we need to remember these things. We don't yeah. take these things for granted. We got to right. receive them. How do we receive them? I'm going to show you in a few minutes. <laughs> Before we get too far away, let's, uh, okay, here we go, Carmen. Our men and women in uniform, past, present, and future, God bless you and thank you. Amen. If you ever see anybody in uniform, as bad as you don't want to do it, just walk up to them and say thank you. Mm -hmm. I salute you. I honor you. Thank you for paying the price for it. Yeah. Our freedom, I take, I, you know, I take it seriously. Keep going. We humbly say thank you for your service. Keep going. I have a few of these, so we don't know them all, but we owe them all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, and we, we don't, we don't know them, but we owe them. 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Especially Jesus. You see that little boy? I thought I put that on there so you can see. <laughs> There's his daddy laying there. He gave his life for our freedom. Amen. And that little boy never got to know him. Never, never knew him. Keep going. One more. There we go. Same thing. You know when they when they come and they present you at the at the at the cemetery, they present you with a flag. Amen. They bury the body and they give the flag to the family. The yeah. little boy's receiving the flag. Amen. Yeah. Either his mom, his dad, or or some kinfolk. But it, you know, he's receiving it. Praise God's blessing, Lord. Keep going. There we go. <laughs> John, uh, President Kennedy uh, was uh, spoke this and he said this. This quote says, "Ask not what your country can do for you; ask what you can do for your country." Yeah, we can do something. Amen. Besides, just sit and and do nothing, or speak about it, and criticize it, and say all kind of negative things about it. What can I do about it? Mm -hmm. Amen. We can do the same thing when you receive Christ in your life. Yes. And Lord, here I am. What can I do? Yes. You know, He's done what He's going to do. Mm -hmm. God did it. Did His thing. Jesus did his thing. Now, Lord, what is it? What can I do? Same thing with our country, you know. It's not what your country can do for you. It's what you can do for your country. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, praise God. And, you know, sometimes we get families coming up, um, uh, members coming back handicapped. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they don't come back. Sometimes, yeah. And, anyway, still, mm -hmm. sometimes they're rejected when they get back, you know. And that's not a good thing. Keep going. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Well, let's pray this together. Amen. Let's open in prayer before we get started. So, yeah. Father, we just thank you. Mm -hmm. It's called a prayer for Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask yes. as we remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our yes. freedom. Yes. We, th we think of how they have followed in the footsteps of your Son, yes. our Savior, Jesus Christ. Please hold our service men and women in strong arms. Cover them with uh, your sheltering grace and present and, as, and present as they stand in the gap for our protection. Mm -hmm. We also remember the families of our troops and ask for your blessing to fill their homes and peace yes. and provision and strength mm -hmm. to fill their lives. May the members of our armed forces be filled with courage to face each day and may they trust in the Lord mighty power mighty power to accomplish each task. Let our military brothers and sisters feel our love and our support. And this we pray in Jesus' name. That's an awesome prayer. You know? Thank you, Lord, for blessing them. Thank you for being there for them. Woo. Hallelujah. We need this on a, on a daily basis. We need to be prayed up. Mm. And not down and out. Yeah. We need to be prayed up just to serve Him. You know what? Because you're going to face people that don't like you. Yeah. You're going to face people that are hateful, no, that are ugly. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you don't know how to deal with them, you're going to fall. Yeah. So prepare yourselves before you go out into the world. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, somewhere in there, Carmen, there's uh, Romans 10, 9, and 10. 9 and 8, uh, 10, 9 and 8, or excuse me, 10, 9 and 10, yeah, 10, 9 and 10. It said, goes like this, Romans 10, 9 and 10, King James, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Mm -hmm. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, yes. and with the mouth confession is made unto so, salvation. Yeah. Amen. But one day it says, confess with thy mouth. Yes. Amen. That's beautiful. <laughs> if you confess with your mouth, you can't do it with somebody else's, yeah. and I can't yeah. do it for you. Okay. You're going to have to receive it yourself. Yeah. Or you're going to have to reject them yourself. Mm -hmm. But if you don't receive it, that means automatically you're, re you're rejecting it. Mm -hmm. But you can do this now. You know, we yeah. ran from him. We've been away from him. Mm -hmm. We've ignored him all this time. Mm -hmm. It's time we come home. It's time yeah. that we receive him as Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know, once you receive him, he's got great things for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to start doing for him because I've already messed up my life. 
all these years, the Lord I want to come home, you know, like a prodigal son, just destroyed everything I had, ruined everything I had. Now, Lord, I want to come home. I want to do for you and start living for you and doing for you. Amen. Come on now. That's touching somebody. <laughs> That's touching me. <laughs> yeah. Also, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he sent Jesus, his only son, to be sacrificed. It goes like this. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. That whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting, everlasting life. life. If you think this physical life is going to stop once you die, it ain't. It's only the beginning. That's it. Where you want to spend your eternity, mm -hmm. up or down, heaven or, or hell, it's your choice. You can't go and and, and decide once once you once you're gone. Yes. You got to do it now. Do it now. Amen. But it's your choice. And it says you confess with your mouth. Yes. Are you going to confess him, receive him, or are you going to let him go and reject him? Again, I want to read this to you. Psalms 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. And some translations, depending on which one you're reading, but it says, We will rejoice. Mm -hmm. Or it says, I will rejoice. Yeah. My translation says, Jose. <laughs> Because yeah. my translation, I scratch the <laughs> eyes and I put my name to it. You can do this yourself. Personalize your Bible to read. Put your name yeah. to it. Amen. Amen. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let every day be a memorial day for you. Never forgetting what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Remember what he's done for us. Amen. And what he's paid. And he paid something he didn't owe and we owe too much we cannot pay it mm -hmm. amen but what he come for he says the bible says matthew 20 and 28 says that the son of god did not come to, to serve to be uh, excuse me come to serve but he but to serve he didn't come to be served but to be but to serve but amen to serve. let's get it right <laughs> he, he's the son of god so he didn't come just for you to serve him he come mm -hmm. to serve and he's our greatest, one of our greatest examples is yeah. if he can serve, so can us. Yes. You know, when you see people with the love and compassion of Christ, then you're going to say, you know, I'm going to serve people. I'm going to serve people. You know, I, I've said this many times, but ministry is spelled like this. P-E-O-P-L-E. -E. Ministry is people. And there's people everywhere you go. Yeah. You can't get you can't hide from it. Yes. Everywhere you go is people. <laughs> but you got as a child of God, mm -hmm. closest thing to a Bible they will ever see or read is you. Yeah. You're gonna come to them and minister to them. Mm -hmm. So Lord, how do I minister to these people? Mm -hmm. How can I do for these people? Yeah. You know? They're gonna see Christ. They're gonna see the Christ in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. John fifteen and thirteen great scripture says great love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends mm -hmm. amen awesome 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 and i want to read you the story i read you the story just about every year but one of my favorite stories don't you know there was a civil war north against the south and this uh wife this mother had lost two sons and she's over there bringing memorial flowers to him. And he's setting flowers on their grave side. And then she turns and she sees two dirt mounts over there. And she walks over there. And she puts flowers on them. And the friends and the families say, what are you doing? That's our enemies. Mm. She says, no. She says, somewhere in the north, there's a wife. There's a mother. That'll never see them come back. Yeah. We see our soldiers go out the war and we'll never see them again. Mm -hmm. Moms, dads, they lost their son, they lost their daughter. They'll never see him again. Mm -hmm. The wife, this mother, she, she saw through love and compassion of Christ, saw these soldiers over there, just no decorations, just the dirt, just the dirt pile over there. Yeah. Yeah. And she walks over there and puts flowers on him. Mm -hmm. That's what Christ came for us. Mm -hmm. 
we see ourselves, the world sees us as nobody. God, yes. Christ sacrificing. God sacrificed his son for us. Yes, he did. That's why we need to see people the way God sees them. Yes. We need to see people the way Christ sees them. You know, hey, if you see him in the flesh, they say, hey, you can go to hell. Come on now. Get for real. No. You can go to hell. I don't give a rip about you. You can talk the way they talk. You can do what they do and be as ugly as they can be. Mm -hmm. But you're not representing Christ. That's right. You're not being Christ-like. <laughs> because they, Jesus, our greatest example, the greatest one to imitate, mm -hmm. they spit on him. Mm -hmm. They put stripes on his back. Mm -hmm. They ridiculed him. Yeah. Amen. They crucified him naked. Everybody able to see and he took all this for us. <laughs> and he's our greatest example. Still. The mom says somewhere in the north there's a there, 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 there's a mother. Mm -hmm. There's a wife that'll never see mm -hmm. these boys come back. That's it. Amen. Let me see how I wrote it here. The graves of two union soldiers. Our enemies. See, we see people as our enemies. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we only have one enemy. His yeah. name is Satan. Mm -hmm. Devil, whatever you want to call him. But people are not our enemies. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're not getting in the word and letting the word of God come in you mm -hmm. and letting the love of God flow through you yes. and letting the compassion of God flow through you, yeah. you're going to see people as your enemies. Yeah. That's not your enemies. That's right. Amen. That's not your enemies. We got to get this right. Mm -hmm. Softly, the loving, compassionate mom, wife says, I know, I also know that somewhere in the north, a mother, a wife, mourns for them as we do for ours. Mm -hmm. They are not returning. They will never get to see them again and not know where they fell or where they gave their lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, I think uh, a couple of days ago, uh, some U.S. soldier just made it home after, what, 70-something years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you never know. Mm -hmm. Still, praise God. Yeah. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, he sacrificed his son. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. He said, sir, let's talk. <laughs> I want people back. I want my people back. So I'm going to have to send you. And you're going to be sacrificed. Jesus, from the time he came to earth, he knew that he was going to be sacrificed. He already knew he was going to be sacrificed. Didn't stop him. Didn't change his, his ways. Amen. Didn't change his ways at all. Listen, this love indeed set in motion our celebration, which was to become known as Memorial Day. So what this lady did became known as Memorial Day. We all know somebody. To serve or given their lives, moms, dads, by brothers, sisters, relatives, uncles, aunts, whatever, friends, uh, co-workers. Their service time, dedication, or courage is appreciated. Not just once a year, but all the time. You remember these things, amen? Freedom is never, listen, freedom is never free. Gone, but not forgotten. Thank you for your sacrifice, and thank you for your service time. So today we want to honor those who have sacrificed their lives at the altars of freedom. Those thousands who have sacrificed lives are not given in vain. Amen. Because of their sacrifices, we can be free. We have the right to assemble ourselves together. We can praise and worship our God. You know, you, you hear stories about countries where you can't do these things and we can do it here praise God you know we live in a free country there's a lot of people out there rushing to come here because they want the freedom we have you know <laughs> and we want to turn this country into a communist country we need to pray about this amen we need to pray about this we don't want that to happen Think about the numbers who have died to preserve the freedom we can enjoy today. Amen. The men and women who have served our nation faithfully and courageously. We want to say thank you. We love you. We honor you. We salute you. Not, you're not forgotten. Freedom involves 
all of us and affects all of us. You go, <laughs> if you don't like this, go to a communist country and see, you rebel there and see what happens. They don't arrest you. <laughs> they can kill you and they can shoot you on the spot. Okay? They ain't going to tr- be trouble with you. I mean, you're just a troublemaker. They'll shoot you on the spot and guess what? No questions asked. Praise God. Remember to pray for those that are left behind, the mothers, the fathers, the spouses, children, relatives, friends. Again, John fifteen thirteen. great love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. So remember what our Heavenly Father did for us. For God so loved the world that he sacrificed Jesus. Amen. Again, the John three sixteen. For God so loved the world, he, he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you want everlasting life in heaven, you best confess him as your Lord and Savior. That's the only way you're going to have it. There ain't going to be no maybes. Amen. And the choice is yours. So, boss in your court, what are you going to do? Are you going to receive him now before it's too late? Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You need to take care of it now. Amen. Since you're born again, you're now enlisted in God's army. <laughs> you didn't know, but God's got an army marching through this land. Amen. <laughs> That's us. We're in God's army. And guess what? We're on God's winning team. And say it like this. There's no I in the word team, but there's an I in united. This physical body is united. All parts are united and they all work together. I. Amen. We're in God's army. A team. Together. Team stands for together. Everyone achieves or accomplishes more. Amen. United teamwork makes Vision work. There's no I in teamwork, but there's an I in united. We're a united team of God. Amen. We're a united team of God, okay? We got to stay united. Because the enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy. The enemy wants to bring division. Amen. The enemy wants to bring division. Freedom affects everyone, all of us. We all have favorite holidays. <laughs> you know, everybody loves uh, Christmas. Everybody loves Christmas. I mean, Thanksgiving. Everybody loves Easter. You know, we get lots of benefits. We get lots of times off. We get lots of good things, you know. But not too many people choose Memorial Day. It's a holiday. Amen. We get the benefits of time off, but we don't focus on how that holiday took place and what how it come about people were sacrificed people Mm -hmm. sacrificed for us to have freedom amen Amen. Amen. maybe it never meant much to you because of no service time Mm -hmm. well i never thought about it because nobody in my family served i didn't serve so you know i have nothing to do with it but you get freedom from it. You get benefit from it. You benefit from the freedom that it brings. Yes. And somebody will sacrifice because of that. So it affects you. Amen. You live in a free country and you're benefiting from it. Amen. Again, we say thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. John 15, 12 through 18 in the easy to read version says this. This is my commandment that you love one another mm-hmm. as I have loved you. Amen. It's, it's a command. It's a commandment. It's not just a suggestion. Mm-hmm. He says, verse 13 says, Great love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. 14. You are my friends. Mm-hmm. If you do what I command you, 15, no longer do I call you servants. Mm-hmm. For the servants does not know what his master is doing. Right. But I call you friends. Yes. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Mm-hmm. You did not choose me, but 
I choose you and appoint you that you should go and bear fruit Amen. and that your fruit should abide yes. so that whatever you ask father in my name he will give it to you yes these things I have commanded you mm -hmm. so that you will love one another mm -hmm. if the world hates you know this mm -hmm. that it hated me before it hated you it. amen he tells us these things you know <laughs> if they hate you remember this he hated me first mm -hmm. you know I said uh, uh, it's about the little uh, person or family sitting outside the, the church mm -hmm. and they're crying and this man walks up to him and says what's wrong he says they won't let us in mm -hmm. he says I know he says they won't let me in either talk about Jesus mm -hmm. talking to them mm -hmm. saying they won't let you in they won't let me in either you know, we got the change. We're the church. We're the, we're the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The church of God. And we're not letting, even letting God in. We're not even letting Christ in. Yeah. This is this is wrong. This is bad. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to do our own thing. We're not here to entertain you. We're here. We're a body of Christ being empowered to go and do yes. what we need to do. Right. Amen. This is what we need. Encourage one another. Say, hey, brother, you can do it. Sister, you can do it. We're in this army together. Yes. Amen. And we need, he is our leader. And we need him. Amen. And uh, to guarantee you, the Bible says when he comes back, he's going to be on his horse. <laughs> and there's going to be hundreds and thousands of following him. Millions following him. And I want to be on his winning team. I don't want to be, he didn't create us to be losers. He created us to be winners. Amen. Yeah. Jesus' words in his final expression express his greatest love towards his friends mm -hmm. us exchange his life for our lives yeah you know at any time he could have changed his mind and says i don't want to fulfill this i don't want to complete this but he completed his mission yes knowing that he was coming to be sacrificed and having to put up with all these negative ugly oh. people mm -hmm. amen we got to put up he was our greatest example now we see it what he went through mm -hmm. We haven't even gone through some of the things that he went through. That's it. And we give up and quit so easy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pastor, I can't come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're having church. Bye, oh, Pastor. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Be available. Make yourself yeah. available. That's what he wants us to do. You yes. know? He made himself available. When Father asked him to come and be sacrificed, uh -huh. he made himself available. Yes, he we need to do the same thing. Yes. I, I don't know anything, but I know that with him, I can do all things. All things. Amen. But I got to be available and I got to release myself and walk in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be faithful unto him. Demonstrates the greatest act of love the world has ever seen. Jesus shows the greatest love, act, uh, greatest act of love ever mm -hmm. seen by the world. Yes. You know, after they crucified him. They did everything they could mm -hmm. to try to kill him, and they couldn't. Mm -hmm. they could. mm -hmm. Until he surrendered himself to the Father. Yes. And then, before he surrendered himself to the Father, he says, forgive them. Yes. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. Well, he was buried, rose on the third day. Mm -hmm. But you know what? During this time, he goes to hell and takes the keys of mm -hmm. death, hell, and the grave. Yes, he does. And he comes back. <laughs> I like this part when they said, hey, I saw Jesus. He's back. Mm. No. <laughs> yeah. And the disciples or the apostles in, in, in the locked room, you know, and he walks in. Man, that will scare the daylight out of you. Yeah. Anyway, I like it. <laughs> First Peter 5 and 10 says this. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternity, eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So after you have suffered a little while, yeah. he will restore support and strengthen you. He will yeah. place you on a firm mm -hmm. foundation. I want to be on this firm foundation. Yes. He is my yeah. foundation. Amen. So thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to talk about the greatest soldier ever lived and serve yes. will. This soldier, of course, is Jesus. Stepped into the battlefield one day. He entered the fight knowing 
that it would cost him everything. Yes. He bravely won a great victory at a terrible price. He gave his life, not for a nation, but for humanity. His sacrifice served to set free those that are captive in yes. sin. Amen. Amen. Free man, praise God. To know Jesus is to honor him. We must honor him on a daily basis. Every day should be a day of thanksgiving yeah. and honoring him. This is called relationship. Yeah. Christianity is relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, you honor him on a daily basis. Seek him first on a yes. daily basis. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Remember the sacrifice of heaven's greatest soldiers today. Let us remember this man named Jesus and the sacrifice he made for all of us. 1 Timothy 3 and 16 says this, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached yes. unto the Gentiles, Amen. believed in, in the world, and received up in glory. Amen. He came, and he was here for a while after he came from, 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 uh, from him, from him and taking up his keys. And he was there with his disciples, teaching them and training them, and then, then telling them, you know, go into the world mm -hmm. and preach the gospel. Lay hands on the sick. You know, cast out devils. Mm -hmm. You know, devils don't want to come out. You got to cast them out. Yeah. <laughs> you got to tell them, take authority and cast them out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe we will remember his appearing. God was manifested in the flesh. The greatest event in human history. God himself stepped into eternity, into time. Yeah. Came into this world as a human baby. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. He's coming back as a king. King of kings yes. and Lord of lords. Amen. So let's, Lord. let's remember this. God is good. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the greatest soldier ever lived, Lord. Yes. Thank you. His name is Jesus, and we honor you. Got another scripture for you here. Jesus uh, laid aside his heavenly address. Like every soldier who serves in the armed forces, mm -hmm. Jesus left home, he left heaven, mm -hmm. and he came to earth as we live in a place of perfection. It's he have lived in a place of perfection, free from sin, free from pain, and free from sorrow. He left heaven, a perfect place, but he came to earth. He lived in a place of perfection, free of all these things. He be, and he began in heaven where he was exalted, honored, and worshipped. He willingly left all this behind to enter a sin-cursed and hateful-filled world. Mm. You can go into this world every day. But you prepare yourselves to go out. Yes. Amen. And do what Christ did. Amen. And share Christ with people. Amen. You got to show up. You bring the good news. Yes. He came to a world where he, uh, where even those who had waited for his appearing uh -huh. would reject him. Amen. Yeah. They were waiting. They know he's coming. But they still rejected him. John yes. uh, 1 11 says this in New Living Translation. He came to his own people. Yes. And even they rejected him. Right. He came to a land where he would be ridiculed, hated, and killed. Yet, he came anyway. Yes, he did. Our soldiers go to places where they are ridiculed, hated, and killed. Yet, they go anyway. Why? For our freedom. Mm -hmm. For our freedom. 1 John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the yes. Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yes. In the Amplified, it says, In the beginning, before all time, there, there was the Word, Christ. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God Himself. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> 1 John 4, uh, 1, 14. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory. The glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Yes. So God laid, laid aside all his heavenly apparels. 
when Jesus came into this world, mm -hmm. he willingly hid away his heavenly fame. Our soldiers do the same thing. Yes. Amen. When a soldier enters the military, he ceases to wear his clothes mm -hmm. or his civilian clothes. He now wears the uniform of his nation. Yes. Amen. Philippians 2, 5 and 8 says this. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Though he was God, he did not think of uh, equally with God as some to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born of a human being. Mm -hmm. When he appeared in human form, he humbly he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal death on a cross. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He gave all these things. Mm -hmm. He know what he's given up. Yeah. And will, willfully. Yeah. He willfully gave these things up. And you know, some of our soldiers give these things knowing that they may not come back. Mm -hmm. But they go anyway. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's remember this. Because we owe these things. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we can say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We all know somebody like this. Amen. So praise God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. First Peter 5, 6, uh, 5, 6 and 9 through 9 says this. In the King James it says, Humble yourself therefore before the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because you have a the devil, as the roaring lion walking about seeking who he may devour. Yes. And verse 9 says, Who resists steadfast in the faith, mm -hmm. knowing that the same uh, afflictions are accomplished in your uh, brethren that are in the world. Yes. Amen? Amen. So let's remember this. The enemy goes about as the roaring lion seeking who he may devour. He's listening. He can't force you to make anything, but he's listening to your words and, and what your actions. Yes. So when you confess the negative things, you open the doors for the enemy to come. And you got to be careful not to let the enemy in yes. and not to say those things. Yes. Instead, guard your words. Put a guard to your mouth and not confess the negative things. Yeah. I say, no, I can let it go as far as here, but I'm going to put a, mount, a guard mm -hmm. and stop it. Yes. I'm not going to say it. As bad as you want to say it, don't say it. Yeah. Just guard it. Say, Lord, <laughs> help me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he, and he will. Yes, he will. James 4 and 7 says, Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Some of us don't do this. Mm -hmm. We need to do this. It says, you submit yourself to God. Yeah. You resist the devil. Yeah. Don't go to God and uh, Jesus and say, you know, you take authority over the devil. Uh -uh. He says, no. He says, I've given you the authority. Yeah. You do it. Amen. You're a soldier of God. Yeah. You take authority. And you resist the devil. And when you resist him and start confessing the word, uh -huh. he will flee from you. Yes, he will. And flee is more than just walk away. Yeah. <laughs> flee means he's going to run away from you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you have to use the authority. Yeah. How do I use the authority? You start using his word. Mm -hmm. But you got to get the word in you. Yes, when you yes. get the word of God in you, mm -hmm. it starts coming out of you. That's it. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Well, don't worry about how you're going to do it. Yeah. Just get it in you. Amen. When you start getting it in you, it's going to come out of you. Uh -huh. Guarantee you, it's, it's going to come out of you. When you train, 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 you know, some of these e EMS guys, <laughs> they train all the time. I couldn't be like, thank God for them, but I can't do what they do. Mm. And I'm not going to try to copy them. I, I've been called to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> but when they train, you may not know it all right then, but the, when they practice and they train and practice and train, when the time comes, I mean, they're going to act. Yeah. And they're gonna they're gonna know what to do. That's it. Same thing. Whatever you do, you know what to do because yes. you've been trained. You've been training in the right things, and you've been yes. trained. We need to train ourselves mm -hmm. in the things of God. Amen. Amen. So get that word in you. When you get that word of God in you, 
man, you flowing in the, in the word, you flowing in the spirit. Yeah. And you're going to confess the right things and do the right things Amen. and not say the wrong things. That's it. Thank you. May we always remember his accomplishments, Paul says. He was justified in the spirit, seen yeah. of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, uh -huh. and believed on in the world. Yes. Amen. Paul tells us about the uh, earthly ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. He, he had a ministry, and he yes. completed his ministry. Yes, he did. Amen. So, so can we. Jesus did all he did, not as a God, but as a spirit-filled man. Uh -huh. He accomplished what uh, Adam had failed to do. The miracles, the powers, the teachings, the changed lives, and the statements of God, mm -hmm. the Father, below. Mm -hmm. Amen. He did these things as a man. And we can do what we do as a child of God mm -hmm. by getting the Word of God in us yeah. so we can know what to do. Right. And let the Word... And let God act through you when you, wherever you happen to go. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. There's so, so many examples in the Bible. He told Noah, I mean, uh, Jonah, to go and preach in Nineveh. He said, I'm not going. Mm -hmm. I'm going the other way. Mm -hmm. And he did. He went the other way. Some of you watching, some of you listening, mm -hmm. God has told you to do. And you know you have a calling in your life. Every one of us has a calling. If nobody even told you, I'm telling you right now. He's called every one of us. We, we're, 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 we're all called to do different things. And we all function different. But yes. still, we have one God. Uh -huh. one, one head. He's uh -huh. the head. We're the body. Yeah. And we're called to do something. Mm -hmm. How do, what's the something you do? Well, you spend time with Him. Mm -hmm. And He'll tell you yeah. what you do. It. Amen. Be obedient and do what God has called you to do. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you just... Nobody, like the world says, you nobody, you're not qualified to do anything. Mm -hmm. He's already called you and qualified yes. you. Yes. So it's time you get instructions from heaven. Right. And that's your orders, marching orders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's telling you to go. When you march, you march mm -hmm. forward. And you press on forward and you press it on. You don't see nobody marching backwards. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see children of God uh, pressing backwards. Mm -hmm. He says press on. Yes. Amen. So we're we're here to take, possess. Amen. So I'm not gonna keep you much longer. We're gonna be closing. Jesus was uh operating under the divine approval of his father. God the Father saw the service Jesus rendered and he was pleased. Yes. You know, we've seen some of the sacrifices some of these soldiers, servicemen and women have done. And we just wanted to say, we humbly say, thank you. And we live in a free country because of what you've done. Amen. So let's not forget these things. You know, we take too many things uh, for granted. Yes. Jesus came into this world. He was born. He lived. He died without sin. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians 5, 21, uh, 521 says, for God, uh, for God made Christ. Who, who never sinned to be the offering for our sins so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Amen. Amen. Let me see what you got here, Craig. Keep going. I have a few more that I want to share with you before we close. This is a prayer <coughs> that you never marked in your, in your Bible. It's time that you pray, mm -hmm. uh, that you mark it. But it's 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2. Verses, chapter 2 verses 1 and 2 it goes like this it says I urge then first of all that petitions, prayers, intercessions and thanksgiving yes. be made for all people mm -hmm. so we're to pray for all and there's yeah. no distance in prayer you know we can pray for Ukraine we can pray for Uvalde all, whatever things are happening I want to make a difference I can pray you're a child of God you're a soldier of God you can do these things Right. For all people, for the kings, for our presidents, for all those in authority, Amen. that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Yes. First Timothy chapter two, verses one and two. Mm -hmm. You find that and you highlight it yes. and you start praying for these yeah. these things. 
He tells us to pray for instead of ridiculing and downsizing and talking against or talking about yeah. our government. You know, you live in a free country. If you don't like it, go to a communist country. Mm. You know, <laughs> keep going, Kevin. When the righteous are in authority, the people, what? Rejoice. Rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, mm. beareth rule, yes. the people mourn. Proverbs yes. 29 and 2. You can mark all these. Keep going. <clears throat> Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Yeah. Matthew 20 and 28. Keep going. We'll get these in before we, we stop. Freedom is not free. Jesus paid the price for your freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom from sin. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sin is sin. Yeah. There ain't no little sin or middle sin or big sin. Sin is sin. Yeah. It affects everybody. Yeah. Amen. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> you can stop there. You can stop there. Thank you. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. In closing, oh, Thank you. <laughs> let us remember a man named Jesus, the greatest soldier who ever lived, who took our sins upon himself and died in our place at the cross. Yes. Amen. At the cross. He, he paid the price. Yes. After Jesus died, he was buried in a tomb and sealed. Three days later, he was justified in his spirit. When God brought him back from the dead, that is proof that Jesus was and we claim to be. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> the resurrection of Jesus from the dead was God's amen to everything Jesus claimed to be. Yeah. Because he died and rose again, uh, his death was valued. None, uh, any person can uh, bow before him. Now, any lost person can bow before him, call him his name, call on his name through faith in his death and resurrection and be saved forever by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. So anybody can confess him and receive him. You know, before we close, I just want to give you the opportunity. If you never accepted Christ, now's the time. Yes. And all you have to do is say, uh, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I want to start a new life with you. It's never too late. You know, do it now before yeah. tomorrow because tomorrow is not guaranteed. Right. You know, well, I don't want to go there. Do it now, don't put it off any further. You know, because when your life is over, I want to make sure I go up and not down. Mm. And you can't blame anybody. And once if you go down, you can't change that. That's it. And there ain't gonna be no nobody go bring you out of here. Mm. You're going to stay here forever. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Mm. So you know what I say every day? I confess. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And I receive no malfunctions in my body. Sickness, spirit of infirmity, you have no right in my body. I cast you out. I command you to go in Jesus' name. And I release his healing powers to overtake me. Mm -hmm. Amen. No malfunctions in my body. My body functions. Every part, every every part of my body functioning to the perfection. God created it to function. Yes. When you start saying those things, regardless of what your body is telling you, body line up with the word God. Sickness, got to go. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I receive my healing in Jesus' name. By his stripes, I'm healed. That's what the word of God says. So if you need healing, just say, I receive my healing. Amen. Receive it. Body line up with the word of God. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. So I don't receive no lies. This is what the word of God says. And I'm going to confess what the word of God says. So body, you're going to line up with what yes. the word of God says. Thank Amen. You. So praise God. Praise God. <laughs> thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I just want to say thank you, Jesus, the greatest soldier ever lived. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to all our men and women mm -hmm. of the armed forces that have sacrificed, mm -hmm. amen, and mm -hmm. served. Just want to praise God. Thank you, Lord. And happy Memorial Day to you. <laughs> uh, if you're giving, 
time to give watching they were listening uh just uh go to our website nbcbigben.com hit that donate button and if you're mailing it in nbc p.o box 252 marfa texas 79843 god loves you we love you and once again we salute you and honor you and respect you uh for all of those that serve amen god bless thank you